Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Movie Couple. I'm Dustin. I'm Wendy. And this is going to be our trailer reaction to Earwig and the Witch, the new Studio Ghibli film yeah. done in 3D animation. 3D CG animation. I am so psyched to see this. I want to see how they adapt it. I want to see how they take Miyazaki's style and artwork and transform that into a 3D version of it. So I'm really, I've only seen pictures. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how they, how the animation and the movement works. I remember we were talking about it on just our uh, previous live stream this past Wednesday and we talked about this and while I am very excited to have another Studio Ghibli slash Miyazaki film, um, I am a little thrown by the fact that they didn't go the normal route of hand drawing animation and now it's that CG 3D animation which it could, it's probably going to be fine but my brain and I'm so stuck on all the past Miyazaki films having yeah. been, you know, a specific style, hand-drawn 2D, that this, um, the poster didn't translate much to me. It just looked like it was, it just didn't look right. It didn't look like Studio Ghibli. So I am really, um, I'm looking forward to seeing this trailer because I want to squash that opinion in my own head because I love Miyazaki films. So let's go ahead and give it a watch. Yes! Oh, cool. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. They're worms? They're like glow worms. Erica, you haven't ever wished Fanny would adopt you. Uh, Have you? Okay. Yeah. Nope. Anybody who chooses me would be pretty unusual. <laughs> 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 this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm trying to, to make do up something I don't want to do. Now then, let's you and I get a few things straight. Oh. My name is Bella Yaga. I'm a witch. Great. Teach <laughs> <laughs> me magic, and I agree to help you out. If you work really hard, I shan't do anything to hurt you. Oh. <laughs> Love potion for the boy next door? All of these are pretty useless to me. <laughs> I believe you're looking for somewhere oh to my gosh, the it's like TV's delivery service. Oh, of course I do. Just not very Just often. a cat aspect, <laughs> not not the story. In this household, there's one rule. It takes a little bit of use too, but it's really cute. You must on no account oh. for any reason ever dare disturb the mandrake. Mandrake. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Okay, we get a little music in this. Left by a witch can only be by a witch. Okay. Oh. Huh. There's a huge music aspect to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I think the animation is something that I'm going to have to get a little used to. Yes. But it still has the same heart, the same soul, the same spirit of Miyazaki. So I think that's going to be what really draws me in. And then okay. I kind, I, I think I can accept get the um, the animation the way it is and still see the beauty behind it's it. It's so weird. I really like the story. The the personalities of various characters, like the selfish witch, like what's the message, right? They always mm -hmm. have a little bit of a message, uh, kind of this like young girl, kind of a, like a juxtaposition of the selfish witch where she's kind of, you know, the fact that she was making a face so she wouldn't be adopted. They're like, yeah, that one, the unusual <laughs> one. She's like, well, okay. Um, and this sort of like, I am a witch. Great. It's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. Music obviously taking a bigger part in, in this one, I would say. Uh, not not to say that other student Jubilee films don't have good music, but this is prom prominently being showcased as like a kind of a singer rock band sort of a deal. Mm -hmm. A little bit different than some of the previous where we just get like a beautiful score to um, support the story and to enhance the storytelling. So I like all of that. I like the characters. I am not really feeling that animation. It, it's really weird. It's obviously it's 3D, you know, so it's mm -hmm. if you take a flat Miyazaki character and you go like this and that's it, essentially it's what they look like, but it just, it's lacking something for me. Like I, it, it's really distracting and I feel like everything is really kind of like 
shiny. Like their skin, their hair, and everything has got this sheen to it, but it's all in unison. They have this sheen, and I, 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 I guess I'm, I mean, obviously, I will watch the film because yeah. I love Miyazaki, so I will watch it. And I like the story, and I want to see where it goes. But it's really not like the animation is not doing it for me. And I like everything else from like the magical, you know, the man was growing taller, all those mm -hmm. magical elements, and it's those so worms that they threw out at the beginning. Very much in the style of Miyazaki, very much it is. But when we first saw, you know, the woman with the uh, red curl mm -hmm. and it spiraled, it just looks. I don't know. I think I expected a little bit more detail, playing in in some of that rather than just like. It, it just seems so... Well, it's also because we're so used to probably like Pixar that does yeah. 3D so well. And and maybe that's what... And, and so does DreamWorks, you and know? So DreamWorks, and so I think yeah. maybe maybe I was kind of because of where technology is today and how talented all these artists are. And I think I was kind of expecting something of closer to that style when it comes to detailing. Um, so other than like facial structures and like expressions and things and movements that's very obviously exactly like Miyazaki because that's mm -hmm. what this film is it's a, a Ghibli film it it it's like taken me out of it I, like I was so distracted by the animation for well this. that's something that Miyazaki is known for he does have a very beautiful style in his 2D yes. animation and that's what one of the things that really does draw you to his um to his to his movies and to Studio Ghibli and to see something now that has kind of taken the appearance of it and completely changed it. Yeah. It's got to throw a lot of people. I also kind of want to see, um, I want to search for Earwig and the Witch trailer, but in Japanese. So typically when I watch any sort of anime, Japanese animation, it's I have to watch it in Japanese first with reading the subtitle. It's just how I grew up absorbing those films. So that's kind of, I'm also very stuck on that. Um, so we're going to watch this film twice, once for me and once for Dustin. Because <laughs> I told him straight up, I was kind of snobby about it. I was like, I will not watch this with with, with uh, an English dub for my first watch. I will watch it twice. And because it's going to come to HBO Max, we will watch it multiple times. And I want to like it so much because I'm such a big fan of Miyazaki. So I'm a little disappointed in that I, I'm not like a big fan of the, the new style. And I'm not saying like you can't change your style. You absolutely should experiment and, and try it and see if, you know, it's probably easier for the artists, yeah. you know, to, to do it. The, the whole new technology. You know, so, yeah. Um, so it's, I'm not saying I don't ever want them to try it. It's just I think I'm so used to a 2D animation that this this is really throwing me. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's uh, our thought, I guess, essentially, on uh, Earwig and the Witch. Please comment your thoughts on the trailer, the story, everything in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.